Good morning. This is November 12th. The year is 2010 and it's time to take a short video of my own personal Elm stove and point out some of the special features. Uh, please pardon the dogs who are anxious to be movie stars. This is a 24 inch Elm wildfire with a very special secondary air system which I'll show you in a few minutes. The uh, elm tree and ash apron are actually solid brass pieces which I recently purchased when I bought a used stove nearby and decided that uh, they're very r rare pieces and I'd like to keep them on my own stove couple of things that I've done recently are to uh, change the wood handles. The one on the door is something I turned in cherry and as you can see that and the one for the draft have grooves that fit my fingers. Let's see here. Well you can't see but uh, anyway it's a very comfortable door handle and draft knob. The warming shelves <coughs> excuse me, are the uh, usual cast aluminum but these have actually been nickel plated. The uh, Most of the top has been painted the same green color as the stove but the tree area as well as the edges have the exposed nickel. Got a pretty good fire going in there. And as you notice, I have a, a brick hearth with bricks on both sides. It's a corner installation. There's the wood box. There's the brick hearth with good protection out in front of the stove. And various pieces of soapstone which I've collected. What I find is that if I have a considerable amount of masonry around the stove it soaks up the heat when the stove is hot and then as the stove finally begins to wind down in the wee hours of the morning this area still stays warm. I mean I can take my little temperature gun and uh, shoot the wall in various places and get temperatures of a couple hundred degrees so that, there's a huge amount of heat storage there's a small piece of soapstone on the top which is both decorative and functional. What it does is uh, reduce the heat somewhat so that when we put water in the kettle to give us some humidity it doesn't boil away rapidly. I have a magnetic thermometer in the first section of pipe. I have a stovepipe damper which is always a smart thing to do just in the, the case that uh, you could ever have a chimney fire you want two ways to close off the air that being one and the draft control down here at the base of the door being the other one now I don't know if you can see it but I can see very significant secondary combustion oh the dog's licking me Okay, Ben. Okay, Ben. I'm going to pop the door open here, Ben. <laughs> Get out of here, Ben. Get out. No, no. It's hot. It's hot. Go on. Go lie down. There are two, what I call, box beams up high fastened to the baffle. And as you can probably see, there's a, a long row of holes. I'm going to close that back up. I'm going to stand up and wait for the doggy. All right, thank you for the licks. One last look at the stove as a whole. It is painted the midnight green color. And this stove has been here for, oh, three or four winters now. Although I continue to make changes and upgrades to it. I can continue to like the way that it looks. And it certainly does the job. Thank you for watching and have a great day.